Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome back to Evil Bank Manager. So, last episode we started up again, and I think we made a decent bit of progress in the last episode. So we sit at about, let's see, our total total value is 155,646 gold, which, you know, we went from the last rank bank to up to number 17, which isn't exactly the greatest boost in the world, but it's decent. You know, eventually... We're only, we'll see, with 155,000, we are currently about 100,000 off of the top. But let's see. I need to do, let's see, cards wise. Can I do any more magnate orders this time? We, let's see, we have 1,300 fear, so now we're going to be off for a while. I forgot how much fear we're producing per turn now at this point. I guess we'll see. 1,315 this turn. I got nothing else to sell. And I think we actually used up all of our investments. Actually, no, we didn't. We're good. Okay, because I think we've just taken a new territory. Um, so let's see, we got a cottage that we could do. That'll produce us some gold every turn. We've got a fur-bearing farm, uh, which produces furs. I think we're going to take the cottage, actually, this time around. So that takes us to value of, well, still, 157, all right? So let's go ahead and end the turn. I said we had 1,315 fear, I think, last. Uh, at, so we did, we're doing like 500 fear per turn. Huh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So this one... 4,000 wood would cost me 4,000. 8,000 iron would cost me 7,000. Um, and I can't up... Can I upgrade my headquarters yet again? I don't think I can yet. Uh, we need 8 regions total. I could open up in a new region, but at the same time... Is it worth it to me to do that right now? I mean, we could still take over, like, England. We could still... Like, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I think... Wait, is this all one territory here? I think it's two territories. It looks like, well, actually, it looks like one. It looks like it split into two, but I think it's one territory. Because it's only showing up as one little icon when I go through here. So one, two, and then three. God, there's like freaking five or six over there. All right. Um, I think at the moment, though, we might be, I think our war thing, we need to, we need to, we still got to cool off on that at the moment. Can I upgrade these? Why is it? Okay, I, I can't upgrade all these to level three, so we're going to do that. I definitely need to upgrade my guards now so I can get some more extra fear. All right. So 350 after this improvement per turn plus our um, plus our managers. We're gonna upgrade the credit agency as well and the espionage as well. So 3,000 and why is it still showing green here? Um, I can't improve that, so I don't know why that's showing green. The investments is also showing green. The armory, I guess I can go ahead and upgrade it now. I might as well. Um, I might need it in the future. All right, so let's see. Now we gotta hire some more managers. So for the guards, let's see what we can do here. Um, let's see, guards wise, we need to find ourselves an expert. Level three, would he be good anywhere else? He'd be good um for the loan department. So we'll hire him for that. Oz Oswald Galbraith. So for the credit department, he will go there. Alright, and then we will do let's see, who do we have now for we're gonna look for the guards again, but he might be good for something else. Level twelve. He'd also be good for diplomacy. I mean He's going to be my best for the guards, but then he'd also be my best diplomat. I'm going to hire him as a diplomat, all right, just because that's his best skill or his best, well, his best trait is actually, what is that? What is the S? What was the S again? I don't even remember what the S was. <laughs> I didn't look through that. We'll see. Hold on. Let's see. We'll find an expert and I'll see what the S was. Science. Oh, science points. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's level nine. I'm not exactly keen on you, Mr. Donald Marlowe. Um, a level two. No, not really. Level 15. I already got a guy for the loan department, though. So, no, not you really either. Level two. You wouldn't really be good in the diplomatic department either. Come on, guys. Come on. 260 fear. Quality work with the manager. Um, let's keep looking. Well, you're terrible. You're not going to help me at all. You wouldn't really help any of my departments right now. Diplomacy. Mm, still not good enough. Still not good. 11. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> I might have to find another guy to replace Roderick as well. Ooh, 20. Yep, definitely. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Roderick Shorty. I think we were the first person that we ever got, but I'm going to have to let you go and bring in Mr. Derek Taft. So we're up to 780 fear, I think, per turn from my managers. 300 influence from the diplomats. Um, we might get rid of Wayne Clapton soon. We got to get in an investment uh, manager. So let's see. Level 6, 11, you're definitely much better than the one I've got. Mr. Harry Wainwright. Let's see if we can find another guy. 12, we'll go ahead and get rid of David Charlson. Alright. 
Oh, who do I have Sylvester Forrest here? Oh, that's the guy I just hired, and I need to get rid of this guy. I'd already removed him too quick. All right, so we'll get rid of him. All right, so our costs are 1,473 gold per turn now. We got 3,000 resources because we got our crossbows and our halberds. Let's see, what wars can we fund, or do I want to save them for the possible war against England? Because Scotland is no longer around anymore, so it's just England now at this point. So let's see. Diplomacy-wise, how many more turns do I have for this cooldown? Um, to start a war, 12 moves. By that time, we'll be almost at the IMF auctions again. So, let's see. We'll just fund some other wars then. 9,000, Austria versus Switzerland. There's only two turns left on this, but I think with the 3,000 that we have now, I think we'll be good. So, 200, 3,000, there we go. And then we'll get that same next turn, and that should be enough to sway it. On behalf of Lost Bank, Austria, hope that you're appreciating what I've just done for you. If not, I guess I can't really do anything. Frick, now there's a war here. I was just talking about a war. Can we? Can Ireland win it alone? They cannot. All right, so I got four turns left, though, for that. And I'm still going to be drawing resources, so we're going to be fine. So we're going to go ahead and throw in another 3,000 weapons. Thank you for this, though, because now I don't have to actually do it myself. Thank you, Ireland, or thank you, England, for attacking us. Whoever decided to attack first, I'm pretty sure it was England. But we'll see. All right, it's 100,000 gold now. And so currently we sit at 13th on the leaderboards, even with only three regions. I said I was probably going to do better with that this time. Although Bardi and Perugia only have six regions themselves. Uh, we'll have seven after this. Or no, we'll have four after this. I'm sorry. Um, I'm thinking, let's see. Why is... We got one more turn before I can do anything about it. What do I have left over? Stone. I'll go ahead and sell that. All right. And there's one more thing I think I need uh, science stuff. Um, let's see. The just by the means, paper gold, the big game. Um, I think one of these eventually actually gives you IMF shares automatically at some point. I don't know how far it is. Investing in loyalty. Oh, yeah, this one. So I got to get towards this right now. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Three turns, then we'll have seven turns to do that. I want this. I want it, and I want it now. I might have to actually do this first. I'm not, I think. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So now, let's see, back to the capital. What can we invest in right now? Anything left? We got, no, I think we're kind of running out here. All right. So once we take over that new territory, we'll be fine. 3170 The minimum value for banks is 15000 now, which I'm way above that, so that does not phase me anymore. All right. We're going to go ahead and finish funding this war for Ireland on behalf of the Irish government. Know that I am here to protect you. I am your savior. All right. Now, 104 and 93, so we're, we're almost up to 200,000 gold now uh, in terms of total value. I feel like there was something that I wanted to do, and I can't think about what it is right now. I was, I was going to check to see what our fear levels were up to. That's not fear. That's the wrong place. <laughs> That's the wrong place. So we're up to 5,565, which is enough to do a political order for gold, but that'd only be 3,000. I can get more value out of the magnate orders. We could do something against our competitors. Solly Banking House, 185,000. These guys are all kind of below me, so it doesn't really matter for me to hit them. If I could hit somebody bigger, then that would be nice, but I don't think I can. So, hmm. I'm going to have to just leave it. I think we'll just wait on the iron to come in. Or, or wait for Sapphire. I think we can wait for this. Well, iron's probably... I think the iron might be worth more for us because we can make more weapons out of it. The Sapphire is worth like... Let's see. In the exchange, actually, I can't see it. I'd have to buy it to see it, I think. So it would be in luxury, agriculture, luxury, luxury. Emeralds, essential oils, incense, ruby, sapphires are worth 22. My weapons would be worth 13 or 10 or 11 or something like that, but we get more of them than we would get the sapphire because we can produce 300 per turn already as it is. So I think I'm going to go with the iron instead. All right, 3,262. I'll just go ahead and finish overpowering England for the time being. All right. Uh, let's see, 161 and 200. There we go. 3,351. Ireland is going to come out victorious. All right. And then, let's see, I got a couple more turns before I can do that iron thing. So there we go. We've taken that territory now. All right. So let's see, research. The research is now done. We're able to capture West Flanders. So now we should have some more uh, investment opportunities as well. Uh, I want this. I want the IMF shares. I have to do this first, I guess, actually. So, yeah, let's do that first. All right. Let's see. 3,381. What can I invest in here? We've got France and Nevers. 
I usually don't help France, but just to see the bank of, well, actually I can't. I was going to say just to see the bank of the Great Tower lose, I would invest there. I'm going to let France lose that. Uh, we'll see what this war is, because I like to have a, a position here. I'm going to um, go in on behalf of Palatine, just so I can see Iron Bank lose. So, there we go. I'm not afraid of this. 70,000. I, I mean, I would have done this one, but I can't really sway that one, and I, don't, I still don't like to lose now. There's a war down here now. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like every bank is in on behalf of Portugal now. If I was to come in here and try something, except for Gran Tavola, should I just let them lose? Or should I? I mean, that's a lot of money to try and invest there. And I definitely don't feel like I could put in that much gold. I mean, I'd, I could possibly get this up to like, what, 20 or 30,000 before the end of it. But that's that's not going to. I'm just going to stay out of that one. I'm going to pretend like I didn't see it. This Argon one, I could possibly sway as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's see, that gets us up to 11,000. It's not going to work out too well. I would have to invest a little bit of extra gold. How much? I'm, I'm helping out Argon. How much would it be to invest in Argon, actually? Argon, Argon, Argon. I know the Papal States is like 20,000, I think. Argon would be 95. I definitely don't have enough for that. Well, I do, but I mean, I don't at the same time. Um, I don't want to invest in them. I don't. So, I don't know. We might just have to take that L there. <laughs> might just have to take that L. So, let's see. Go ahead and put in the rest of what we got. 161. Actually, we got war going on now between us and England again. So, we've lost, I think, our iron production, which kind of sucks. So, we've only got wood stuff. All right. What's happening this time around? 15,000. England is winning so far. I don't have any weapons to do. I, don't, I think I have a little bit more to invest now, though, because of the fact that we captured uh, West Flanders. So, let's see. Next turn, we're going to sell what we've got, though. What we have, what's worth it. Uh, so, it'll be 13000 I'll give it another turn. That's going to put us at... Let's see. Go ahead and sell some more. 160 1468 That'll put us at fourteen eight. I don't have to actually put any money into this. I can just keep going. Although I actually probably should invest in some things. It's now almost time for the IMF shares. So, yeah, I need that. Actually, the science thing, speaking of the IMF shares. Um, let's go ahead and do... Let's see, investing in Lord. Did it already start? Go ahead and do one turn for that. All right. 906 resources. Ireland is now going to win this. All right. And there we go. So now we control all of Ireland. All right. Eastern and Western Ireland. So now we're back up to normal production. And let's see, where do we stand on the leaderboard? We are currently number 16, 238, but we do have 3% of the IMF automatically, so we're, we're, we're all right. We didn't even have to pay anything for it. The science is coming in handy. I should be able to do my uh, political uh, magnate now, so let's see. 7,000, I said I was going to do, I could do both, almost both now, actually. So right now we'll get the iron. All right, and then after this, we could try the, yeah, we'll wait a couple more turns and then we'll get the sapphire and we'll sell that. All right, so let's see, 23,000. How much of it did we do all in weapons? We got 2,000 halberds now. <laughs> 2,000 halberds. All right, so we could definitely, we can cause some damage, but not that much damage. I feel like we, are we already to the point where we're using gunpowder and stuff in wars? Or not gunpowder, but what was it? Um... You, well, not actually. I don't see those on here yet, so maybe we're not there yet. I don't think so. So we can go ahead and throw all two thousand of those halberds in there. Actually, I could sway this. Well, no, that was eighty thousand, wasn't it? That wouldn't. That still wouldn't be enough for me to do anything there. And yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that one. I'm just gonna just completely overwhelm these guys though <laughs> with my two thousand halberds and my three hundred crossbows. There we go. Twenty-four thousand. Yes, I have made a difference in this war. Let's see, next turn, now we're up to 4,000. All right. Uh, Middle and value is going to be 20,000. Okay. So now, actually, I want to start doing some more investing. I'm not going to worry about the IMF auction because I'm not going to even be in it now at this point. We're up to number 13, though. Um, let's just see here. I want to go back and see if we can invest and get some more resources now. Um, stone, wood. We can get a tree felling. That would allow us to produce more crossbows. I'm going to do that. All right. And I think we should now have enough for our magnate order. Um, let's see, 3,000, 2,000 gold. I was trying to see if, what the political orders would do. We could do something against Red Shield, who has a total value of 357,000. That would take 17,000 away from them. And then, where are they at? Red Shield is currently number four on the list. 
I might just cause some chaos there, just just for the heck of it at this point. I feel like I'm feeling a little bit devious here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 4,354, that takes us to 6,441. With the next couple turns, we'll be able to get the sapphire going, or I could do the wood right now. I think I'm going to do the sapphire, actually. We'll wait for the sapphire. All right. So now, we're breaking, we're making more crossbows now than halberds, actually, so that's pretty decent. Um, Nevers won the battle and was able to capture part of France. There's another war happening here. 16,000. We're going to help out on behalf of Palatine. All right, so we'll do 598. We'll go ahead and sell them all of our crossbows, all of our halberds. That's going to be a total of 8,799 gold which is enough to sway it in just one turn, one turn only. All right, we still got a lot of stone left, I think, so we'll go ahead and sell that too. I could keep it for when we do our upgrades in the future, but, I mean, that's going to be a minute. Well, actually, speaking of that, how many turns has it been? Um, Let's see, espionage-wise, have we cooled down yet? We got... Yes, we can. Okay, so we can do that now. Um, I'm going to wait a turn, though, and get some resources saved up, though. Oh, never mind, we're already going to war. <laughs> Before I even had the chance to do anything, we're already going to war. But Ireland pretty much has this under control without me, but I'm still going to have to invest a little bit in here. Uh, Bjorn is actually in England right now, so this is going to hurt them. But Bjorn... Bjorn is... They are... Below me. They're one of the worst banks right now. So this is just going to kind of put them out of the game right now. Well, not out of the game, but it's going to hurt them a little bit. They're going to, have to pay some extra taxes and stuff. They're not going to get as much from their, if anything, from those resources, actually, I don't think. Um, so we're going to sell the rest of these weapons to Ireland. All right, just because I want this war to be freaking over with so I can get my full production back. Um, might need to give us some more loans. And I haven't done that in a minute either. Loans. Let's see, who can we loan to? Lionheart Bank. Red Shield Bank wants 76000 like I said, I'm already not participating in the IMF, so I mean, I could do something like this. Seven turns, 3.9% profit per turn. Lionheart, 48,000, 10 turns, 4.4%. I'm going to do that one. We're going to do that one. I like that one because it's longer and I get more profit per turn. So, yeah, cool. All right. It's going to leave me without the money for a minute, but, you know, it'll be okay. Um, we'll go ahead and finish selling off to uh, Ireland, 161 and 200. All right, Bjorn, eat your heart out. And now, let's see. Let's see what else we can invest in, actually. We've got furs, gold. I don't really want any of those, to be honest. We'll just leave those. IMF auction is now around, which I am not in position to do anything with this. Um, How far off was I? Well, I guess only Trinity Bank. They want it for 152000 Banco General. That's 5% of the IMF for 150000 So that's going to take them down a big bit, isn't it? They, let's see, who was that? They now sit at 392,000 total value. All right, so after purchasing, man, everybody's getting up there, 400,000, I'm still down there at two. <laughs> I'm actually down to number 19, but I did give out a loan, so that's probably, that's part of the reason why. Uh, so that war is now over. I could start up another one now, actually, which I think I am gonna do. So, let's see, espionage-wise, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Start up a war. We're going to take over... Which one is worth... Does it really matter at this point? We'll take over... I'd like to take London. Do we have London already? East of England. Where is it? Is London... London's always kind of weird to get to. 16,000. I will gladly take that. All right. And Ireland has enough on its own, but I'm going to go ahead and still fund it anyway just because I can. I can go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, there we go. 5,000. 24,000. All right. We have five turns left on that. All righty. So, I need to do some more research. Um, Science-wise, delicate situation, investing in loyalty. We get more... Oh, we already did that. I was going to say we get more of the IMF shares, but we don't get any more from that. Um, increase gold by 50%. Ooh, thank you. All right. And then silence is golden. Embezzlement allows you to control more properties of an industry by 15. We'll go ahead and start researching on that. So, now we have 190,000 gold. That now puts us at number 14. We're not too far off. We're, we're coming up the ladder. I mean, we're 100,000 off of the top. Let's see what uh, more orders we can do. Uh, political magnate orders, because I've, I've built up a little bit since last time. So 13,000. I said I wanted to do the sapphire, so we could do 2,000 sapphire now. So I'm going to do that. Uh, that gives us 31,000. God, that was actually a lot more. Than, oh, I still got the weapons, too. But that was a lot more than I thought it was going to be worth. Um... So yeah, that's actually, that's worth a lot. I, I said the iron was going to be worth more. I'm probably definitely wrong about that, actually. I think when we did that, though, we got 20,000 resources. So yeah, this this was actually probably worth a little bit more. 
Um, so let's see. But actually, this one was for 2,000. I think the original one was for 1,000 and something. So let's see. What wars do we have going on here? 16,020. I'm going to help uh, Achen or Achen. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. 437 and 200. All right. That's going to be enough to sway that battle. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of the Sapphire because I'm pretty sure I'm not really going to need it for anything other than upgrades, but it's not going to be worth it for me right now. That puts me at 225,000 total gold. And we currently sit now at number 12 on the list. And we're a couple spots, like 20,000 gold off of number 8. We're like 2,000 off of the next best person, all right? So let's see. Now, I want to see what... An, and plus, we still got a loan that's going to come back, too. So that actually boosts us up a lot. So grain... Grain is valuable now. It's just it's not going to... It's a seasonal thing. I think I'm going to take this grain. This 30,000 worth of grain. All right. 5,000 resources. Oh, the war is still... Is this a new war or is this the same one? It's the same one. I was going to say. I thought... I was going to say. I know I funded the war. Right, this is France again. So France versus... Ne oh, God. Bank of the Great Tower threw in 15,000 of their own money. We're just like, you know what? We're just going to sway this battle completely. And I might just have to let them take it. But then again, that's going to let them get stronger. Do I really want to get involved in this? The Bank of the Great Tower. The Bank of the Great Tower is number eight. This is going to allow them to control another territory, I think, too. I'm going to jump in here. Even if I can't completely let them make them lose this, how much could I invest? What's the most I could do? 33,000? We might let it rest a couple turns because, I mean, at some point we might come across here to France to take over some territory. So we might be able to use that eventually. So we'll go ahead and sell what we can until the last turn. And then we'll actually, we'll actually try and get, um, we'll grasp victory from the uh, Claws of Defeat here. <laughs> All right. 24,000. We got three more turns left. Um, I got to check on our loan too. Sell. All right. We're going to do 438 and 200. All right. I don't know when we're going to be able to get any grain in, uh, but it's 55 now. 25,000 is minimal value. Now one more turn left, so we're going to go ahead and sell the rest that we've got, and then now we need to just invest 7,000, 8,000, and we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll just go ahead and invest 8,000. So we're going to help France take over Nevers, because like I said, I want to just hurt the Bank of the Great Tower. All right? They don't know who they're messing with here. We're going to get a cottage out of that, so I will take it. All right? So France is now going to win that war. We're going to go back to the capital and see how this loan is doing. Um, let's see. Debts, borrowers. Did it already come back, actually? Frick, I thought it was gone. Debts in process. Hold on. Was it from there? I guess it was. Credits. It should have been. Wait, no, no, no. Debts. No overdue loans. No borrowers. No loans issued. I feel like... Did it already come back? I don't know why I didn't think it did. Oh, there we go. No, it hasn't come back. It's in a different section. Yeah, that's right. So we got three more turns left for that. All right, so we'll just wait on that. 5,000 resources. Let's see, investments-wise. Stone, gold, furniture. There's not really much uh, left there. 400, that's not really going to do the job now, is it? Um, hmm. Not really. We'll do some, some more science research. Final obstacle. Uh, all your countries that are involved in wars get 2,500 as a support. Black sheep. Um, increases building headquarters levels by one. It's going to allow me to upgrade right off the bat. Receiver, when selling on the market, you get additional. That's not going to help me. I don't have any flags anyway. Um, one of the three tasks for mercenaries is always against the richest competitor. Ooh, that is going to help me because I've been thinking about that and I haven't been able to do anything with that because um, overall, I haven't been able to affect the biggest competitor. So, interesting. All right, so we're going to... That's already done. Going to need to help there. Uh, there's this war down here, 13,000. I'm just going to jump in here just because I can anyway. I mean... Oh, actually, I got more crossbows. I forgot about the tree felling now. It's going to make things a heck of a lot easier. 11,000 per... Well, I had two things. Competitor... Ah, oh, frick. They didn't... Ret well, we took it from them still. After the Bank of Lionheart uh, took a loan from me, his financial situation deteriorated significantly and they had nothing left but to declare bankruptcy. I still got my money out of it, so I don't freaking care. And we put them out of the big game. So, you know, it's okay. It's just fine. It's just dandy. So we still did come in in time for this. All right, so we're looking good there. At 3,000 resources, what do we have? The wood, what do I have left over? Luxury. Oh, is it the agriculture? Okay, so our grain finally came in. So that's, we're going to sell that as well. All right. That puts us at 318,000. And then now we're up to number five. So look at that. We've jumped up a lot of spots now. All right. And let's see. 
We will have a new territory after this. I want to see if I can get up an, uh, give out another loan. Actually, let's see. Um, what do we have in terms of magnet orders now? Because it's been a minute. 12,865. Our science is done, so now we can have one against the biggest competitor. So we could take 18 or 19,000 away from the Banco Generale. We were the same people that won that auction, weren't they? I'm going to do that because it's only 4,000 anyway. So we'll take from them. And then Barty and Perugie. That wasn't the that wasn't the best guy. It said one of the three will always be against them. That wasn't them. Party and Party and Perugia was the best. Hanseatic Banks. We took some money from some people. All right. Too bad we don't get the money. I wish we could get the money, but we don't. So that kind of sucks. But I guess it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, let's see. Anything else I need to do? I guess not this turn. I guess I could do some more investing. Although I, we didn't really have much left, did we? Topaz. Ooh, Topaz. A Topaz deposit in Eastern Ireland. A logger's hut, an iron ore mine in West Flanders. Um, I'm going to go with the Topaz. All right. Our headquarters. I said I was going to do that eventually. Actually, I can... Well, no, I can't. I still need the one region. After we get done with the war, we'll have enough for that. Uh, and then I'll do the science one for that, too. And we'll be up to level five, I think, after that. Science, let's see. Um, debt collection generates 200 influence per turn... Or was it? Was it Black Sheep? Yeah, increases. It'll take three turns for that. Alrighty. Then we can upgrade again. And let's see. What else did I need to do? I need to sell my resources now. So we'll do... Let's see. Map-wise. Where can I sell my stuff? We got a war here. Uh, 12,000 versus 22,000. I don't care about that. I'm jumping in anyway. 437. 200. That's 5,000 worth. I think we'll, st we'll have enough time. We'll have enough time there still. 6,000. Ooh, we can get in on this one. So hold on, we'll close down. Um, the current price is 258,000. We could get this right now. It's 5%. I'm taking it. I don't freaking care. 240,000. That leaves me with 80,000, but I got my IMF shares. So I won an auction. That took me all the way down to number 20. <laughs> all the way down to number 20, but I got my IMF shares. So I'm up to 8%. I control the IMF right now at the moment. So We'll get back up there eventually with our magnate orders and everything else. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I might have overpaid for it, but I didn't want to. I don't want to let it ride too far without having any money in it. So we got 10 turns to build up our wealth again. We'll have about 100,000 after that because we've been making like 10,000 pretty much per turn now. So I think we'll be okay. Um, 5,000. I think we got some agriculture to sell. Some grain. Yes, indeed. So we'll get rid of that. That's going to put us at 100,000. We're at 200,000 before we bought those shares. <laughs> and, okay, now I should be able to upgrade my capital too. Or my headquarters. Uh, so let's see. Headquarters, headquarters, headquarters. Yes, indeed. 1,388. We're going to upgrade guards as well. All right. So now we sit at 3,827 fear. It's only been a couple turns since the last time we did something. Um, let's see. The next magnet order, we can get 20,000 stone for 17,000 fear. 4,000 skins for 19,000 fear. That's going to be a while away now. But I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.